Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Mindy Nursing Academy, one of the leading academy in training nurses in the nursing competitive exam as well as IELTS and Lux and OIT training. In this video, we are going to discuss in detail about the difference between isometric, isotonic and isokinetic exercises. See, few students are having doubts related to these three different types of exercises. See, in this video, we are going to cover the important key points related to these three different types of exercises. So, watch the video till the end. Definitely, it will be so much useful for you for the upcoming NORSET 5 examination. So, let's begin the session. First, we should know the basic of muscle contraction. The basics are two things. The first one is concentric contraction and the second one is eccentric contraction. Concentric contraction means, see the image carefully, the lady is lifting the dumbbells. While lifting the dumbbells, what will happen? The muscle will contract, muscle will bulge and skews. Okay, so this is happening in concentric contraction. There is no extension in concentric contraction. Whereas, look at the blue color, that is eccentric contraction here. The lady is dropping the dumbbells. While dropping the dumbbells or lowering the dumbbells, what will happen? The contraction is taking place whereas extension is also taking place. So extension plus contraction is present means it is called as eccentric contraction. Only contraction of the muscles is taking place means that is called as what? Concentric contraction. Otherwise, while lifting the dumbbells, concentric contraction will take place while Lowering the dumbbells, eccentric contraction will take place. On the other hand, isometric contraction. Here, the muscle contraction will take place while holding the dumbbells. She is not lifting the dumbbells. She is not lowering the dumbbells. She is stationarily holding the dumbbells in particular position. Simply holding the dumbbells. Okay. But while simply holding the dumbbell also, without any movement, she is holding the muscles. But still, contraction of the muscle is taking place. Okay, just think or imagine you are holding the muscle, sorry, holding the dumbbell stationarily without any movement. What will happen? The muscle will contract, right? So, this is called as what? Isometric contraction. These are all the basics. Let's go in detail. See, here it is clearly mentioned that here, look at the second image. That is, the person is pulling the rope. The person is not lifting the rope, the person is not dropping the rope, the just the person is pulling the rope. While pulling the rope, what will happen? The muscle contraction is taking place. Right? So, you can see the definition of isometric. The second image is the example of isometric. The tension increases, muscle length remains same. This is the key word in isometric exercise. The muscle length remains same. There is no contraction, there is no extension. The muscle length is remaining same. Okay, that is called as what? Isometric. The best example is pulling the rope. Okay, you can see in the second image. And next one is isotonic. Tonic means the key word is contraction and extension. So, here what is happening, look at the first image, the person is lifting the dumbbells. What he is doing he is lifting the dumbbells. While lifting the dumbbells, what is happening? See, the tension remains same, but the muscle is shortening. While lifting the dumbbells, the biceps muscles are contracting. Okay, so this is called as what? Isotonic. Here the tone remains the same. Iso means same. Okay, so here the tension remains the same, but the muscle is contracting or shortening during the movement. This is called as what? Isotonic. In isometric, there is no movement of the muscles. In isotonic, the muscles are contracting while lifting the dumbbells. Okay, guys. So, this is the basic difference between the isometric and isotonic. Here one more example, the same example with better clarity in isotonic what is happening? Contraction of the muscles while lifting the dumbbells that is shown in the first image. In the first image the person is lifting the dumbbells, the muscles are contracting. This is called as what? Isotonic. Iso means same, tonic means the muscle tension is increasing by shortening of the muscles. And isometric means here the person is not lifting, he is pulling the chain. Okay, he is pulling the chain. Okay, so here the muscles are getting the tension but it is not contracting. The muscle movement is not there. A simple word is muscle movement is not present in isometric. Whereas in isotonic muscle movement is present. That's it. Okay, let's move on to the next one, isokinetic. 
ஐசோகைனிட்டிக் எக்ஸசைஸ் The best example for this is, you can see here, the person is running over the treadmill by fixing a particular speed in the machine. See, the person already fixed the speed in the machine, so he is running along with the speed of the machine. The speed is not increasing, the speed is not decreasing, but the speed remains constant and movement of the muscles is taking place. Okay, so this is the best example of what? Isokinetic exercise. So thank you guys. If you have any other doubts also, please drop your doubts in the comment section so that I will clarify your doubts by means of showing these kind of explanations. Thank you very much. Thank you.